In 2018, Acronym and Nike have revisited their successful collaboration on the Air Presto. Featuring a mid-cut, double zippers, and this time around, graphic prints, the dynamic yellow colorway has the perfect amount of pop and contrast. Let's take a look. Hey all, what is up? Reese here, and I've got a brand new sneaker pickup to show you. What we're looking at today is the Nike and Acronym collaboration on the Air Presto Mid. This is the white, black, and dynamic yellow colorway, and these released on September 20th, 2018 with a retail price of $200. Now as you're watching this review, I'd love for you to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this shoe. I'd love to hear how this stacks up for you against the other two colorways that dropped on the 20th, and also how you like the 2018 Acronym Prestos compared to the original 2016 release. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And finally, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Before we get into the specifics of the shoe, I want to take a quick step back and talk about the history of this silhouette. The Air Presto was first introduced as a running shoe in 2000 and came out of Nike's Alpha Project. That was an initiative in the late 90s and early 2000s to really push the technological bounds of athletic gear, both footwear and apparel. The Air Presto was kind of one of the forerunners to Nike's free technology. The goal was to create something that was a little bit minimal, uh, was easy to slip on, and would really allow your foot to kind of move naturally and get some of those benefits of barefoot running. They built the original shoe with a stretchy mesh that gave it kind of an early sock-like fit. At the time though, they actually called it a t-shirt for your feet, so they were thinking more about apparel when it came to the fit of the shoe. And going along with that, the original Prestos were actually sized kind of uniquely. Instead of normal numerical shoe sizes, they ran from somewhere around extra, extra small up to three or four XL. Each one of those sizes actually corresponded to a range of normal shoe sizes. And the point was the upper was stretchy enough that you could slip the shoe on and it didn't really matter exactly how it fit. And then they provided this cage that allowed you to get the lacing exactly how you needed it for lockdown. There were 13 original colorways of the Air Presto, and they also did something kind of unique with the ad campaign. They gave them all kind of an interesting nickname, and then they had print ads as well as actually TV commercials that were animated that kind of gave you a quick overview of how they got that name. And these names were pretty funky. You had things like Rabbit Panda, Unholy Cumulus, and Shady Milkman, just to name a few. The Presto stuck around them for a couple years. They actually started doing a couple different shoes within the line bearing the Presto name. So you had a pair that was specific to cross training. There was also a post basketball recovery shoe. And in 2002, there was also a very limited HTM release of a kind of higher cut sneaker boot version called the Air Presto Roam. Although we've continued to see Presto releases ever since it was first introduced, the silhouette saw a really strong resurgence back in 2015 with Nike starting to bring back many if not all of the original colorways and also to kind of experiment with the silhouette a little bit more. We saw new colorways, new materials, uh, there was a Flyknit version and it was out of this in 2016 that Errolson Hugh of Acronym first collaborated with Nike on the silhouette. He wanted to do something kind of unique with the Presto so he started looking with Nike at some samples of the shoe that never made it to production as well as some of the rare kind of early models. Now, I'm not sure if it was the Air Presto Roam or a different kind of mid-cut sneaker version, but he saw a mid-cut version of the Presto that he really liked and wanted to kind of base the design off of. Now, Acronym is known for making very like technical and utility-based gear and apparel, and a lot of their stuff has a really strong blend of form with function. You see that kind of coming over here in a couple different ways. You've got some additional fuse overlays on the shoe, but the really strong uh, use of some of that utility mindedness that we see coming from acronym are the double zippers here at the heel They give it kind of that technical vibe and it's a really nice setup. You've actually got them connected by a cord And then there's a button at the back here where you can attach it So it's not just kind of flapping around at the back now This wasn't just something where they were like ooh zippers will give it kind of that look and feel that we want It was actually meant to kind of harken back to the original presto and how easy it was to slip on They wanted something where even though it was a mid cut it wasn't hard to kind of force your foot into that collar. And so by zipping it down, it gives you really easy access to the shoe. And it ends up being something that you can wear either with the zippers down or up because you do have a pretty good heel cup there that will contain you regardless of how you actually have the zippers set up. 
For the 2016 release, there were three different colorways, and that's what we got again here in 2018. And there are a few subtle differences, although the overall silhouette is pretty much unchanged. The differences include an additional fuse overlay here under the outside of the cage, some acronym branding on the seam between the two parts of the upper, and then the addition of graphic prints. There are a couple different graphic prints between the three pairs, but they all feature it on the toe guard and then some combination of the caging system. Now of the three colorways, this was my favorite. There were two kind of vibrant pairs and then one that's more subdued. Obviously this is one of the vibrant pairs and then the really, really vibrant pair was uh, the one that featured Racer Pink, Photo Blue, and Volt. That was definitely the most sought after pair, but for me they were just a little too loud. I like that these have a combination of a little bit of pop of color, but also mostly just white and black so that you can really style them with a lot of different things. And then finally, the third colorway also looked really, really good. It featured cool gray, black, and white. I ended up liking these just because those go a little bit above those in terms of having some of that pop with the dynamic yellow. With all this said, we can dive now into a close-up view and take a look at the colors, materials, and everything going on with this sneaker. For the box, we've got a matte black finish with Nike and Swoosh branding in glossy black. You can see that in really, really big size on the top and then also kind of all the way around. It is a pullout box and looking at the size and information tag there, you can see that they use traditional sneaker sizing for these, not the t-shirt sizing, which is actually what we saw on the original acronym Presto. Getting into the shoe itself, the majority of the upper is a multi-layer mesh. You've got white here at the toe box and then a diamond pattern on the collar and tongue area in dynamic yellow. Now dynamic yellow is kind of a mix between yellow and volt. It's not nearly as green as volt, but it does have just a little hint of that, um, but it definitely leans more yellow. Here on the toe box area, you've got a black swoosh and you've also got these black fuse overlays on the lateral and medial sides, as well as a little circular one here under the cage that's actually new for the 2018 acronym Presto. Another new feature is you've got this acronym branding here uh, sewn onto the seam between the two different colors of mesh. You can see the acronym logo type and then this acronym logo. It's not something that seems super common. I couldn't really find it on their website. It doesn't look like it's at least prominent on their gear but it is a logo that they've used for a while. I could find it going back to some marketing videos from 2010 or 2011. And it's actually that logo that forms the basis of the graphic print on this pair. You can see it a couple different sizes and orientations here on this plastic toe guard. It also makes an appearance here at the heel cup and kind of the back part of the lacing and caging system. The majority of the cage on this pair though is this kind of smoked semi-translucent black right up here. You've got black laces, black pull tab at the front of the collar and then also one here at the back. For the zipper area, you've got acronym branding. You've got their abbreviated ACRNM here on the outside. That's actually like their website domain and then the full acronym right there. The actual zippers are like gunmetal hardware. You've got black cord here and then a button for the, later, for the uh, zipper cord, so you've actually got it connected, which is nice, and then you can pop it here so that it doesn't kind of go all over and flop about a lot. If we zip this down, you've got leather here at the top of either side, and then you've also got a tumbled leather here at the heel, and then inside, as well. The insole is white with acronym and Nike Air branding. It's kind of like a faux tumbled leather. Looking at the midsole of the shoe then, that's actually one of my favorite parts of this colorway where at the heel you've got white with contrasting black five dots. Those represent this was part of the Alpha project. Again that was the original Air Presto. And then up here you've got black for kind of the front section and also the top part here over the back with the white swoosh. More of the same as we look at the outsole. The majority of the rubber here is white Duralon. You've also got BRS 1000 rubber here 
in white, and then all of these gaps and then air branding right there are done in black. Now that'll do it for our close-up look at this sneaker. If you haven't already, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the shoe. Again, both this colorway and also the overall 2018 drop of the acronym Presto. With all that said though, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.